big adventure is on its way to Mars right now. The James Webb Telescope promises to show us objects billions of light years away. Yeah, this is pretty exciting here with a local angle here. News specialist Mike Anderson shows us how researchers right here in Utah help make it happen and will help study what it finds. Mike? Researchers at Utah State University spent about five years studying different types of composites and mirrors inside of this high-tech vacuum chamber. But now the real excitement is on to see if this $10 billion telescope works. And lift off. Now that the James Webb telescope is finally off into space, the anticipation is big and astronomers and science enthusiasts. It's just going to blow people's mind. Dr. J.R. Dennison, along with about 30 researchers at Utah State University, spent about five years studying different types of mirrors and composites to be used within the telescope. They had to, in part, make sure the telescope stays cold, about 40 Kelvin. Which is, I think, minus 380 degrees Fahrenheit. Because any heat given off could interfere with the infrared light, the scope will be taken in from deep space. They used this high-tech vacuum chamber to test the materials, where they could shoot ions and electrons at them, among other tests. And then we measure currents and, and energies and so on coming off of the samples to determine how they charge up, what kind of things get given off. But now that their work is done, it's time for others to do the real exciting stuff. There's these big black holes like the one at the center of our Milky Way galaxy. Dr. Anil Seth at the University of Utah is one of just over 250 researchers selected to use the telescope. He'll be studying black holes, particularly the one at the center of our galaxy. So four million times the mass of the sun. It's a black hole sitting at the center of our galaxy. And we don't know how it got there. Right now he's crossing his fingers that the web works as planned, hopefully showing us far beyond what we've seen with the Hubble. Definitely if it does all work, it's going to be really amazing. And now it's about a 29 day wait for the Webb telescope to reach its destination about 930,000 miles away and then to see if the close to 180 mechanisms all fold out correctly. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.